And we are going to begin with that breaking news and that key hearing in the Zion Foster case. Just moments ago, the judge binding her cousin Jalen Brazer over for trial. The 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham has spent the past two days in court and Darren is joining us live now from outside of 36th District Court with more on the testimony and the evidence that the judge felt was enough to send this case to trial, Darren. Yeah, Brian Glenda, the decision came down not even 20 minutes ago. The judge really laid into Jalen Brazier, calling him a liar. The judge also, also just talked about how disturbed he was at the evidence, evidence presented the last couple of days. Today's testimony heavily focused on the suspect's phone records and his alleged attempts to delete Internet searches as well as text messages. Also, evidence of his suicidal thoughts and the confession he made to police two weeks after Zion Foster's disappearance. Brazier lowered his head in court at one point resting it in his lap as the recording of his confession to, confession to police uh, detectives played in court. It's the second day of his preliminary examination in the murder case of Zion Foster, his cousin. He's accused of killing her January 5th. The interview with detectives uh, played in court uh, was with East Point and Detroit Police Department detectives alongside Brazier's former attorney. Uh, that took place on January 19th. Brazier had explained he and Zion had been smoking weed at his home when her breathing uh, became very, very faint. Oh, I smoke. Oh, yeah, it's me. No, I'm there a lot. So I freaked out. I'm like, okay, well, this is terrible. So I'm very bad. I didn't want to do So I took her. I put her to my trunk. And I, I put her to my trunk. Okay. In my car. And I took her to Highland Park. And put her inside of a trash can. And then I left. On the stand, the prosecutor then asked the uh, detective, Detective Shannon Jones, to read part of the transcript from that same interview she had with Brazier that evening. Why didn't you call for an ambulance for Zion? And what's the answer? I was scared and thought it looked like I killed her. And what's the next question? How do you know if Zion was dead before you put her in the trunk? And uh, what's the answer? She was not moving. I put my hand under her nose and sh she had no breath. I put my hand on her neck and she had no pulse. Now, Detective Jones says the dumpster had been emptied about five hours after Brazier allegedly uh, put Zion's body in there. Uh, the detective says police made sure the section of landfill, that landfill you may recall in Lenox Township, uh, where Zion may have been, they make sure, made sure that section uh, was left untampered and you also may recall a landfill search took place uh, that summer last summer Zion's body was never found Brazier is due back in court August 16th live in downtown Detroit Darren Cunningham 7 Action News shocking to hear that come out this afternoon thank you so much Darren